Hey golfers, in this next video I'll be talking about wrist hinge in golf swing. Keep watching. Hi, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here. Thanks for watching. So I'm talking about wrist hinge in golf swing. Now this plays a key role in not only improving your consistency, but getting the right amount of hinge, not only your back swing and your down swing, really provides a lever. You get this, this lever between your wrists and your arms to really give you that extra power and speed you need in your golf swing. And if you look at any of the great players out there, they've all had great wrist hinge in their golf swing. Even top amateurs, they get a great wrist hinge and they're able to really generate that extra power on the golf swing. So let's have a look at what it should look like in the back swing. So if I'm set up here, I'll show you this from a couple of different angles. Now it's slightly different for everyone, it's something to bear in mind, but in the back swing, as we make our takeaway, I like to get a one piece takeaway where everything's moving together, my arms and my shoulders. As I just get past that trail leg, I like to have the wrists begin to hinge. They'll hinge up like this. Have the wrists begin to hinge right about that point there. I don't like to have the wrists hinge too early. I know like some people like to, um, to do, I find that turns the swing very wristy. Or I don't want the wrist to not hinge at all and be very stiff like that. I like to let those wrists hinge naturally right about just past the trail leg. And then once the, that lead arm, the left arm for a right hand, it gets parallel to the ground. I like them to fully hinge as much as they can there and it gets you in that sort of nice sort of L position there forming that 90 degree angle. And that's a great position the backswing from there. You can rotate and finish your backswing. Now in that backswing when you're hinging up really important that you don't get too much cocking with that lead wrist. So this would be cocking, this would be flat, this would be bowed. If you get too much cocking, if we hinge up with too much cocking, that gets that face very open at the top and in a really awkward position. I'd like to see you get to here, hinge up more and have that wrist a lot flatter at the top. Even a little bit of bowing is okay, but have it much flatter. And that makes it, makes it much easier on the downswing with that little bit of, if you get that right amount of wrist hinge to really flow through the downswing, make a great golf swing. All right, so that's the back swing. Let's have a look at the downswing. Okay, in the downswing with the wrist hinge, this is obviously a really key area because this gets us down to impact and hopefully into a great impact position. So for me, Grip pressure plays a really key role in wrist hinge, particularly in the downswing, because if you're gripping the club too tightly, it'll force you to either cast, and you'll lose those great angles we formed here in the backswing. If you're gripping it too tight, it's quite likely you'll cast, and you'll come through very straight arm and lose a lot of power and consistency. So what I'd like to see you do is, with your pressure, have it nice and light, just so you're letting those wrists hinge more naturally, I'll show you from this angle what I'd, like it, what I'd like to see you do as you get to the top. So we've got that nice wrist angle, we'll let the wrist snatch, we'll let them hinge naturally, we've rotated. Now as you get to the top, as you start down, I don't want you to cup that lead wrist even more than try to hinge it like that. What I'd like to see you do is bow that lead wrist. I spoke about that in the first part of the video. So here's our flat lead wrist. This is cupping and this is bowing. What I'd like to see you do is bow it slightly in the downswing. And what that'll do, if you can bow it, it'll get the club coming more on an inside path. And if you add rotation, shift your pressure to the lead side, you'll find you're able to get in a really good impact position. With our irons, you'll get forward shaft lean, and with your driver, you get into a great impact position as well. It'll help you square up the club face. Then with rotation, through to your finish. 
If we don't bow that wrist even a little bit in that downswing, what will quite often happen, if you try to cup it too much, you'll come down very steep, open face. So what you need to do is just slightly bow it and just keep that light pressure on those wrists and they will hinge naturally on the downswing with that little bit of bow as you rotate and shift you'll be able to get in that really good impact position. Let's have a look at it from here. So as we rotate and shift we get that little bit of bowing in that lead wrist coming down on a nice plane through to impact position with forward shaft lean all those good things we want in that golf swing so grip pressure for your wrist hinge is really important particularly in the downswing to help you get into that great impact position so how do we practice this well I've got a simple drill coming up shows you right how to do it Okay, here's a great way to practice with a simple drill, the right wrist hinge in golf swing. So this is called the LTL drill. I've spoken about this before. Now combining this with doing slow rehearsals, which is what I always recommend doing at home first, you can then progress to doing the LTL drill and hit really small shots with this at the driving range. This is super effective. This really trains those wrists to move properly in the golf swing. So jump out of your chair, grab a club, and I'll show you this briefly from a couple of different angles. So from face on, what we're aiming to do is just make our nice back swing, letting those wrist hinge naturally. And we're only trying to get to about that L position there. An L gets formed in the back swing. We've let the wrists hinge up. They haven't hinged behind us like that. They've hinged up. We've got a little bit of bowing in that lead wrist at the top. And then we're just going to swing through. And we're going to match up that L position on the other side. So I'm just letting those wrists hinge naturally. Now, on the downswing, your wrist will approximately get somewhere to that trail thigh when the club's still parallel to the ground. Then they'll fully hinge through to impact. Then they'll re-hinge on the way through. Again, it'll be slightly different for everyone, but that's the general principle of the move. So really simple. Try and do at least 10 to 20 reps of that a day. That really will really train your wrist to move correctly through the golf swing. So let's have a look from this position here. Remember to hinge up. We don't want to be hinging back behind us. Hinge up. So we're forming that L on the back swing. and an L on the follow through. That's a really great drill. I've been using this one for years to really train those wrists to move correctly in the golf swing. Now, a really important come up, I've got a video that talks about weight shift versus hip turn. Now, combining this with the correct wrist move will help you make a great overall golf swing. So make sure you watch this video, it's coming up. Do you wanna know how to make a better golf swing? Click and watch the video on your screen now. It's going to go into more detail about golf weight shift versus hip turn. Now this ties in really well with this video to help you make a great overall golf swing. Do you want to know how to play even better golf? Consider subscribing to the channel. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I will get back to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.